Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about rock scoops. So if you don't know what a rock scoop is, essentially it is a scoop on a stick that you can reach down into water, grab rocks out of, out of the water. To give you kind of an example of why this might be important, let's just say you have on rubber boots that are 20 inches high, and uh, therefore you could walk in probably, you know, 16 inch deep water. Well, if there's a rock at the bottom of that 16 inch deep water and you want to grab it, well, you're definitely going in up to your elbow at least uh, to, to grab that. And it gets even harder if you have on uh, like chest waders, hip waders, chest waders. You want to be able to scoop those rocks out without having to bend down and grab them. Another reason you might want this would be if you're on the older end of life or you don't want to just you just don't want to bend over all the time picking stuff up. That's what these are for. So there's not many good options out there. Uh, Estwing used to make a rock scoop and it's essentially a metal rod with like, almost looks like a spoon at the end of it. Uh, people make them. You could take a piece of PVC pipe and uh, jam a dinner spoon in there and bend it over and there you go, you have one. Now, if you wanna buy something a little bit nicer, there are companies that have acquired, I think, the license for making the old S-Wing scoop. And uh, I'll put some links and photos in here of that. You can certainly just jump online and go buy one for $55 to $60-ish. Um, I have spent the past four years making a different rock scoop every year. So I'm going to show you last year's rock scoop. And here is what this rock scoop is. We have a an aluminum rod, aluminum piece of tubing with a, uh, a scoop with holes drilled in it so that you can scoop rocks, lift it out of the water, and all of the water will drain out of the scoop. Uh, these are perfectly great items, um, extremely cheap to make and very, very durable. That said, they uh, there there's a problem with this and that would be the, the size of it, the overall size, you know, uh, as far as carrying it around, because you're not always going to need it, and maybe you're on a trip, and you have this thing floating around in your car now, right? So I started to come up with some ideas on how to make a better rock scoop, and I came up with what I think is a great design, and here's the rock scoop right here. Um, we're going to be going into depth in this, and we're going to be... Uh, showing you exactly how you can make one yourself. This is telescopic, okay? Now, it saves a fair amount of length and uh, it makes it not really a burden to pack around. It's extremely lightweight at 16 ounces and I built this for about $22. Uh, now, a number of people, I want, so let's back it up a little bit. I did a little sneak peek of this on one of the Saturday videos that I do, Saturday night specials, and a number of people commented that they would like to buy one. And as nice as that is, um, the answer is no. I do not uh, make and sell stuff, like products like this. Uh, what I do is I make videos like this, and that's how I get paid. Um, you watch ads just like this, Okay, if you didn't see an ad right there, that means you have your ad block turned on. Maybe you could just turn them off once in a while for me. <laughs> um, and uh, that said, though, I think there's ample business opportunity here. If somebody wanted to make these, and uh, you could certainly sell them. I think it's a far superior scoop than anything that is available on the market. So um, I already kind of figured all of these things out, but... Uh, if $55 for a rock gem scoop is kind of the going price, um, and you can make these for $18 to $22, and then shipping being $14, um, you could sell these for, you know, takes you 30 minutes to make one. You could do the math there. You could be uh, turning a, a, a $20 profit, let's say, every 30 minutes off of uh, making these and selling them. So I'm giving you the design for free. All I ask is that uh, you give me some credit 
and uh, maybe send me one if you, if you make some. <laughs> um, that said, let's, uh, let's jump right into this. What we have here is an overall length of about 22 inches. The extended length is 37 inches. Well, yeah, 37 inches to the bottom of the actual scoop over here. Here are all of the items that you're going to be needing to make this, okay? So I'm gonna be putting down in the description box down below an itemized list of all of this stuff, links on where you could buy it, and all of that good stuff. But real quick, uh, I wrapped my handle with some hockey stick tape, so that's what that is, uh, a file. A file. Uh, if you're filing aluminum, you're gonna want a file card because it's gonna load up. You're gonna need the two wrenches that are gonna go through nuts, pair of pliers, uh, quarter inch drill bit if you're using a quarter inch bolt, which we are, a little drill bit for the pilot. Um, this is the scoop. The scoop is a seven ounce flat bottomed ice scoop. And uh, there's a link to that. Um, I found that on Amazon. Uh, you're gonna need 20 inches of telescopic aluminum and we're gonna be going more in depth that in that here. We have a uh, deburring tool, a little C-clamp. This is going to be the end cap on it. And don't worry, we're going to go in depth here. A Sharpie, a uh, center punch. This is a step bit. You're going to need some way of finding an angle. So we have an angle finder there. You're going to have to take some measurements. You're going to cut some aluminum. So a hacksaw is acceptable. I have a full fabrication shop sitting behind me, so I used power tools. I also have a drill press, but you can use a drill. And, uh, well, if you have that, that's great. So the way this works is uh, the telescopic aluminum is just like this, right? Um, I purchased this from my local metal supplier. Now, your local metal supplier might also have it. Uh, mine will ship. Um, I believe. Yeah, they will ship, and I will try to find as many sources for this as possible. The outside, right, the outside is one inch. You can see how smooth that is. <laughs> the outside is one inch, and uh, I can't exactly recall what the inside is. It doesn't really matter right now. Um, I will put all of the details in that description box. The retention is actually a straight straight legged spring clip and I'll be putting details down below about this as well. Okay, that said, um, you are going to have to be drilling some holes and it's uh, a good idea that they are precise. So um, before we kind of get into this more, I'm gonna show you how this is all laid out on my whiteboard. So we have a 20 inch piece of telescopic aluminum. Two pieces, the inside and the outside, are exactly the same length. Um, you are going to be cutting a notch down here that is three quarters of an inch in at a 70 degree angle. You're then going to be drilling a hole three inches in on the top from this piece right here. One inch for the outside, four inches. Now that notch, that 70 degree notch, that matches this back angle on that scoop once we cut the handle off. You're going to slide that in and then we'll bolt it on and uh, should, should work out quite well for you if you follow all of these directions. So I have uh, already drilled my holes. Now, this being the outside piece right here, we have our four inch hole. One inch there. We have a three inch hole on the inside piece and we have our cut slot. This is how this would go together. So when it's fully extended, that would click, click in there with that spring clip. And then when it's closed, it'll clip in right there, leaving ample room for the scoop. And right there, you can kind of see that is for this. This is a one inch plastic square furniture end cap that you can buy at Lowe's or Home Depot 
or any number of hardware stores. This is that spring clip that will be inserted into the smaller diameter piece. These are not super easy to come by. Um, that said, an alternative to this could be uh, something like this, this retention pen. Um, not as clean of a design, but there's that. I'm gonna cut the handle off of this, and then in the bottom, I'm going to be using my step bit. I'm going to drill three 3 8 inch holes. So I cut the scoop handle off and I filed it down. I laid out my three 3 8 holes. I'm going to center punch them with this. This is a spring loaded center punch, and that's just like that. Now, the reason you do that is so that there is a little tiny divot there so that your drill bit will not wander on you. Um, quick note about drilling the whole holes in this. Obviously, the outside being one inch, it's very easy to half it. You can kind of maybe even see here, there's that little scribe line. Uh, so you're gonna drill a pilot hole after you center punch, and then you're gonna be using your step bit. This being 5 16th, your step bit drilling to 5 16th and go a little bit more and you'll put that nice chamfer there on that hole. This being a more difficult hole, right? Because obviously uh, for somebody that doesn't drill a lot of holes, uh, this isn't an easy uh, way of finding the center. It's not just, you know, do, uh, one inch divided by two. So what you do is you insert it where you want it to go after marking your, well, you can kind of see the line right there. What you do this is you line up that line. Okay. You're going to hold it right where you'd want it. Put your C-clamp, C-clamp in here like this. Clamp it down so that it doesn't move. And then you drill through that using the exterior sleeve as a guide for the interior sleeve. Just a couple little, little tips where I can give them to you. So by this point, you should have your scoop looking like this with your three holes drilled in the bottom. Your handle should be cut off and filed basically smooth. You're going to take your deburring tool, run it around so that you get all of those aluminum burrs off. The same thing with these holes over here. Quick note about the slit here, right? So we are about an eighth or so. Um, in thickness, and we're going in three quarters of an inch at a 70 degree angle, 70 degree angle being this, so that when we're all done, we have something that looks like that. You can see here on this first pancake, I, uh, I overcut it a little bit. Uh, w ways that you can do this, I have a, a port, I have all kinds of stuff to cut metal here. Uh, you could use a Dremel, you could use an angle grinder, um, any number of things to uh, cut that slit here. And effect essentially what we're doing is we're going to be able to clamp this now. So when we send our bolt through, you, it's going to be pinching really, really tight on this and uh, using a stainless steel bolt with a nylock nut. So it will never ever come off and it should be awesome. So this is the point where we're going to be pushing our scoop on. Now, if you didn't file that part off of the scoop enough where the handle was, it may not be uh, able to go down all of the way. So you're gonna have to do a little bit more filing to get this to sit all the way down in there. The connection between the scoop and the handle is important. You wanna get this as straight and even as possible. There's really no easy way to do this, but it's uh, definitely doable. There we go. And you don't want to over tighten this. You can certainly see right here, it'll start to bend a little bit, the handle part. 
and now it is rock solid. So as far as the assembly goes of the spring clip, it's pretty simple. You're going to insert it just like this. And you might have to find something to uh, shove it down there with. There we go. So now we have this little spring-loaded button to uh, test fit this guy here. There we go. Just like that. Now um, I'm gonna shove this cap on here. Uh, these are <laughs> these are kind of a pain, uh, but you know, tap it on with a. A rubber mallet or uh, just you know brute force it on you're definitely going to have some uh, layout sharpie marks on here and we're just gonna take this take some acetone wipe this down wipe the handle down because we are going to be putting the wrap on it so we want that to have a good adherence so you got like that lay you know any layout marks acetone will just take it right off of your metal have a nice clean look. So here's kind of like my first prototype one. And I did something a little bit different for the handle right now. You can see here the the wrap goes down about four or five inches. What is that? This goes down about four inches right here to that button. That doesn't leave a whole lot of room for a grip. So for this one, I, uh, I wrapped it a little bit more, and then I just cut the hole out for that spring tab. So I hope you found this to be an enjoyable and useful video. I encourage you to make your own, get out, play with the design. I mean, like I said, the design is, is free. It's free to anybody that wants to do this. However, only mine get cool stickers. <laughs> and uh, I think with that said, we're probably going to call this one a wraps here. Thanks for stopping by, hanging out with me. Um, I think this is a, a good solid project that you could do yourself. And you could make a lot of these if need be. Maybe you have a big family. You want to go dig around for some scoops. Um, one more quick side note before, before letting you go here. Um, if you like this, you know, hit the subscribe button. Drop a thumbs up all that good stuff, and uh, catch you on the next video.